Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can start mining Bitcoin using your Windows 10 or 11 based computer here in 2025 in less than 10 minutes. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the great tips and tricks that I have to help you earn more and keep more of the Bitcoin you are mining here in 2025 with your computer. So, before we dive into the tutorial today, I do always like to start off here on CoinMarketCap. Just taking a quick look at what's going on in the crypto markets as a point of reference if you happen to be watching this video in the future. So if you aren't interested in this portion of the video, feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting into the tutorial then. But overall, as you can see, crypto is up today about 1.73% to a total market cap of $3.51 trillion across the board. Of course, leading that charge here is Bitcoin, up around $104,000. Uh, so it is nice to see it up a little bit today. Um, that's up about 2.5% on the day and about 1% on the week. So scrolling down here, you can still see that a lot of these charts are red uh, on the week for these top 10, top 20 cryptos. So it's been a little bit of a slow start to this week, but with that being said, it's nice to see prices start moving back up, and we're still pretty early on here in 2025. I personally don't think we're going to see all-time highs, uh, at least peaks, for this bull run until April, May, June time frame. Uh, so I think we still have a few more months. But just looking here at Bitcoin, of course, the all-time high being just under that $110,000 mark, um, that basically means that any coins you start to mine now, there's a really good chance that you know those coins will go up in value at least a little bit back to $109,000, $110,000 valuation for one Bitcoin. So with that being said, you know, starting to mine and build your Bitcoin holdings could be a really good decision because I've seen price predictions here saying Bitcoin could go all the way up to a quarter million dollars or more. Of course, no one knows if it will get that high, but that is a two to three X on the current price. So any coins you're holding right now could go up double, triple, or even more uh, within the next few months. So how do you start mining this coin? Now, of course, Bitcoin, the original cryptocurrency, proof of work coin, you have to mine it to earn it. It's still a mineable coin, but the issue is you have to mine with ASIC computers, which have gotten so powerful now that you have to have extremely specific power requirements. They're very loud, they generate a lot of heat, and of course you have to maintain them. So it's not really the most ideal situation for everybody. But back in the day, you used to be able to mine this with a CPU or a GPU. And that's what we're going to be doing today. So we're using a site here called Unminable. Now, if you're not familiar with the site, basically it does what its name says. It lets you mine coins that are not traditionally mineable or coins like Bitcoin where it's mineable, but not really by an everyday person with a nice computer, a gaming computer, a laptop, whatever it might be. So the way they do that is you actually pick an algorithm that's profitable for your computer. In this case, for the tutorial, I'm going to be using uh, the Kapow algorithm, which mines Ravencoin. So when we start mining here in just a few minutes, I'm actually going to be mining Ravencoin, but getting paid out in Bitcoin. So the reason you'd want to do that is if you're in a place that uh, treats Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency transactions as taxable events, by getting paid out directly in the coin that you're interested in, you can save in exchange fees and things like that. So, first thing you're going to do, head down to the description, click the link down below to come over here to Unminable, or navigate to Unminable.com. But if you do use that link down below, you will save 25%, which we'll talk about here in just a minute. Then, what you're going to do is select Get Started with our Wizard, Basic and Advanced. I always recommend Basic, but Advanced is there if you want to go that route. I'm going to be going the GPU route here. Um, you can feel free to choose CPU if you're following along on a Windows-based CPU or you're following along on a Mac-based computer. If you go into GPU here, you'll see the list of algorithms. Again, I'm going to be choosing Kapow, but make sure to choose what's best for your hardware to maximize profit. And if you don't know what that is, what I'd recommend is go out to a site called whattomine.com. 
enter in the GPU that you have in your computer. What it does is it's going to calculate across all of the major crypto mining algorithms and coins, and it'll tell you the best one to choose for your specific hardware. So then you can come back over here and make that decision. Here's where you choose what coin or token you want to get paid out in, which of course we're going with Bitcoin, but there are over 90 different cryptocurrencies here on the site. So once you choose that, you'll go ahead and paste in your Bitcoin address. Now please double and triple check this address because if this is wrong, you're not actually going to get any sort of error when you start mining. It's going to work as expected and then when you go to get paid, you simply won't. So I'd hate to see you get up and running, mining, and then end up not getting paid. So with that being said, go ahead and select next. And the final window here before getting started with the miner is entering in a referral code, which if you use the link in the description, you'll notice my Bitcoin tips referral code auto populated here like you saw on screen. And if you're still looking to get that 25% discount, you can feel free to enter it in. It's Bitcoin dash tips with a capital B and a capital T. So here on Unminable, there's a 1% pool mining fee. It's free to get started, but anything you mine, 1% of it's getting taken. So basically to make it easy, let's say you mine 100 Bitcoin, you're obviously very happy but one of those Bitcoin is going to go to unminable. Doesn't matter if you did that in a year or in 20 years. Doesn't matter if Bitcoin's $100 or $100,000. You're never going to get that one coin back because that's the fee. By using this code, you actually reduce that down to 0.75%, meaning you get to keep an additional 0.25 of every coin that you would have otherwise given to unminable. So feel free to use that or continue without it. Once you get to the final page here is where you choose the miner, download it, and get started. Now, I always recommend Gminer as it supports both major GPU manufacturers, and it's the one that I personally use. I've had a lot of really good luck with it, and I've used it for a long time. Not to say that any of these other ones are bad. They all work really well and do what they're supposed to, but Gminer seems to be the one that I have always gone back to. So what you're going to do is select download miner files, which will take you to the GitHub where you download this Windows 64 zip file. Download this and extract it. If you don't do the extraction step, you will get an error right away. So make sure that if you're running into that error uh, when you start the miner file here in just a minute, which will show, just check and make sure you didn't forget to extract the files. Then once you've got that downloaded and extracted, come back here to Unminable and select this blue download.bat file button. And as you can see here, Google Chrome has called this out and said, hey, we can't verify this file. Are you sure you want to download this? You will have to select that warning and say download unverified file if you want to continue. Now, if this is something you're not comfortable doing on your computer, that is completely fine. Please simply select delete from history. Unfortunately, there is no workaround for this, so you would have to move on to something else in crypto such as faucets or cloud mining. But if you are okay with that, go ahead and select download unverified file. Then all you have to do here is drag and drop this into the same file that you just extracted with all of the other uh, you know, mining files. So as you can see here, I have unminable btc kapow gminer.bat. And at this point, you are ready to start mining, and all you have to do is double-click this file. Now again, you will notice I get a Windows Defender. Uh, we, we protected your PC window. You will have to say more info and run anyway. Again, if you're not comfortable with this, simply select Don't Run. Good news is this only pops up the very first time you run the file. After that, you won't see that error again. So... With that being said, we are now up and running mining Bitcoin using my RTX 3070 here in 2025. So we're about nine minutes into the video, and that included a little bit of coin market cap analysis at the beginning. Um, so you can see that really just going through the steps here is a very quick process. You can probably be up and running in less than five minutes. Um, but just a few final thoughts here on Unminable. Um, as you can see in this CMD window, we've got some green, yellow, blue text, nothing really jumping out as wrong. Uh, if you're seeing any red text errors, something might not be configured correctly. If you're running into that, make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know what error you're getting. Happy to help troubleshoot and get you up and running.
With that being said, it does take about 10 to 15 minutes for the stats that you see here in CMD to actually show up on the website and start paying you. That's completely normal, so as long as you're not seeing any red text, um, that should populate within a few minutes and you'll start seeing those payments come in. And on the other side, when you're ready to be done mining, all you have to do is find this CMD window and hit the red X. Once that CMD window is fully closed out, you are no longer mining. Now the reason I mention this, because of course closing a window is pretty easy, um, when you stop mining on Unminable, if you've been mining for a little bit of time, you know, five, six, seven hours or longer, you're actually going to continue seeing payments on the website here as if you were still mining. Stats, payments, all of that. And I've seen the question before of, hey, I've stopped this miner, but it's still paying me. Is it mining in the background? As long as that window's closed, you can rest assured that you are no longer mining. I've personally stopped a miner, unplugged that computer from the wall, and then the next morning, over 12 hours later, was still getting paid as if it was mining. So it's a little bit weird, but I do like to mention that, and hey, I wouldn't be too upset about it because you're still getting paid and you're not even having to mine. So with that being said, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, if you do run into any issues, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Always happy to help troubleshoot and get you up and running. And as always, if you haven't already, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to Bitcoin Tips. It really does help out the channel and allow us to provide these videos here for free here on YouTube for you. Also, please share this video with your friends and family to get more people into crypto, helping increase the prices. And if you're looking to support the channel a little further, we do also have those channel memberships down below. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.